Good morning, Carpenter Cougars. It's spring! So we're going to review a little bit of this lesson and move on to some more interesting facts about this season. You're going to need some materials for this lesson. So after I show them to you, you can pause this video and you can make sure that you're ready. The first you need is the copy of the front of your folder. The second is this musical worksheet. The other materials are a pencil and a marker. And don't worry if you don't have a marker because you can just use your pencil if you need to. All right, so let's get started reviewing our season. Our first clue on the folder cover is, of course, the meter. Now, we learned that meter is the way the group's beats in music are grouped into measures. And our keywords were beats grouped. We learned to do this by tapping, nodding, and counting. So would you do that with me right now as we listen? Get ready to tap. I will tell you when to move on to nodding. Just tap beats. Now nod when you hear the stronger beat. job. All right, so on your folder, next to the word meter with your pencil, we are going to write the numeral four. Our next clue is tempo. Tempo in Italian means speed, and we talked about the four different speeds of music. Largo, which is sloth speed, Adagio, turtle speed, they're faster than you think they are. Allegro, you when you're trying to run down the main hallway without getting busted for running. And presto, when you run as fast as you can. Now, if you can stand up for a moment, you can actually mark in, march in place or you can move around about the room a little bit. But here we go, you're going to walk this tempo. Get ready. And here it comes. One step for every beat. Step, 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 step. Okay, I think we can roll out Largo and Presto. And I think even Adagio, because you're moving a little bit faster than a turtle. So that means that our tempo for this movement is, that's right, Allegro. Not to be confused with Allegro, which is an allergy medicine. Allegro. So again, take your pencil and let's fill in that clue. Next clue, tonality. We talked about the fact that tonality is based on scales. There are bright, happy, cheerful, SpongeBobby major scales. And then there are the sadder, more thoughtful, grumpier scales, the minor scale. Kind of like Squidward or Darth Vader, if you will. And so, let's listen for tonality. I don't think Squidward and Darth Vader would be making an entrance to that music, do you? So obviously the right answer is major. And remember, we always have to write that word with a capital M. So let's fill that in.
and we're going to move on to dynamics. Dynamics make the music more dynamic because if we always talked at the same level of sound, it would get really boring really soon and you'd want to turn off this video and go play some kind of game, which would be much more interesting. But sometimes I'll speak loudly and sometimes I'll speak softly or in musical terminology, forte or piano or in between mezzo forte or mezzo piano. Now, I'm going to have you listen for two things at once because you're so smart and you can do this. After you've figured out what you think the dynamics are, close your eyes and listen for your mood. The best way to do this is to answer this question in your mind. This music makes me feel, hmm. And remember, it needs to be a feeling word. So here we go. Dynamics first. Okay, now close your eyes and listen for your mood. How does this make you feel? All right. For your dynamics, we should be doing someone in the middle. And that's actually the correct answer is mezzo forte. If you remember from class, we learned that a double Z sounds like it's got a T in it, mezzo, pizza. So keep that in mind. And of course, your mood is whatever this music makes you feel. And always remember the important lesson that I taught you, your mood is always correct because it's your feelings. So remember, I won't write down mine because I want you to decide for yourselves. Okay, now we get to the instrumental effects. And we've talked about this before, but just to remind you, Instrumental effects are when an instrument imitates another sound. If you think back just for a moment to In the Hall of the Mountain King, we had something sounding six times in the beginning. It was the troll guard blowing the French horn to warn the trolls that there was an intruder in the cave. And then we heard one string bass very softly playing this theme. That was the little boy Peter tiptoeing into the cave. Of course, as we added more and more and more instruments, that showed us that more and more trolls were showing up at the cave. So Vivaldi was one of the first composers to use instrumental effects in music. He kind of almost created it. So here is our first instrumental effect. As you listen, remember, it's 300 years ago. We're outside in nature. We're hearing something that Vivaldi might have heard. And here we go. Do you remember that we guessed that that was birds chirping? So, on your cover, let's take your pencil, and it was played by, did you say violin? If you said the violin, you're right. The violin makes high sounds like birds, and also the violin was the instrument that Vivaldi played. He was a virtuoso. So of course, he's gonna give all the good parts to his favorite instrument. So, violin, birds, chirping.
I wrote mine down. Did you? Now, Vivaldi comes back with his theme, his main theme, after the birds. They sound pretty happy, don't they? Here comes our main theme again. Again, 300 years ago, outside, something in nature that never stops moving. What did that sound like to you? Some of you may remember it from class, but if you don't, it's the sound of water flowing over rocks. Now, you may be thinking a river that's way too big, or a stream, which is smaller, or maybe a creek, but actually it's a brook. And the reason it's a brook is brooks are often described as being babbling because of that murmuring ba 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 sound that you hear, listen to it. So Vivaldi decided to use some lower strings to make the sound of the babbling. So, again, on your worksheet, we're going to write viola, V-I-O-L-A, plus cello, it rhymes with jello, C-E-L-L-O, and that's the brook, V. R O O K. Hopefully, yours looks like mine. But then he's not finished because he decides to bring in another nature sound on top of that babbling brook. So here it comes. <laughs> It's high, it's moving gently. Did you say the wind? You're almost right. It's a baby wind. So it's going to be called a breeze. And again, what instrument played it? What gets all the most important starring roles in this piece by Vivaldi? The violin. So the last clue, violin plays the breeze. We have some interesting clues going on here. The birds, the brook, the breeze. Does anybody know what we call in language arts when you have all the words starting with the same letter sound? Birds, brook, breeze. If you said alliteration, you're gonna make your teacher very, very happy. That's what it is. And so it's pretty obvious when birds hatch, when the brook flows, when the breezes blow, that this has to be spring. Now, we haven't done this part. Up here, in this oval-shaped part at the top, we're going to write the title, but before you do that, here are two things you need to know. We're going to write it in English and Italian. So first, when we write it in English, we're going to use quotation marks because it's just a small part of a bigger piece. So when you write spring, please make sure that you use quotation marks. Next, to write it in Italian, Again, we need our quotation marks, but it's two words and they're both capitalized. La, which is L-A, and primavera. I'm going to write it and then I'm going to show it to you. 
and actually those two words mean the spring in Italian. Let's just double check your Italian spelling one more time. L A space capital P R I M A V E R A with your quotation marks around it. Now, I have to share with you, did you know that there's an Italian food that's called primavera? They call it pasta primavera. And all that means is pasta with spring vegetables. So we can actually relate music and food. I think pasta primavera sounds pretty yummy right about now, don't you? All right, now we're going to move on. But I'm gonna offer you a chance to pause this for just a few minutes, take a little break, and then we'll come right back. So take five, everybody. And we're back. Now, I want to review this because for spring, we got to understand that the first thing that inspired Antonio Vivaldi to write this music were a series of paintings by the Italian painter Marco Ricci. Vivaldi loved the painting so much that he went and he wrote poetry. And in his poetry, if we translate it into English, it doesn't rhyme, but it says, joyful spring has arrived. The birds welcome it with their sweet songs while the brooks murmur in the gentle breezes. I think he translated that poetry pretty well into that music, don't you? But just as a reminder, here is Marco Ricci's painting. And you can actually see the trees. I'm sure they are filled with birds singing that nice, cool blue sky. It's not too hot yet. And these people taking a walk by a little brook. It's hard to see in this picture, but it's there. Now, speaking of spring, let's show you just a little bit more art. There was a painter in Italy by the name of Archimbaldo. This is his picture. And Archimbaldo was famous for making very unique paintings. And I'll show you the painting and then I'll explain. Take a look at this beautiful painting of a lady in spring. Now, if you zoom in and you look at it, the most amazing thing you'll see is that her hair and hat are all made of flowers. Her face, her cheeks are made of a flower called roses. Her ear is made of a flower called a peony. Her collar are all daisies. And then her green dress, that's all vegetables. Romaine lettuce and peas and spinach leaves. Take a good look. Isn't that incredible? And her nose is nothing more than a tulip that hasn't opened yet. Now, Archimbaldo was famous for these. And actually, there's a movie that some of you might have seen called The Tale of Despero. It's about a little mouse. If you haven't watched it, you might want to ask your parents permission. I know a lot of the fourth graders at Carpenter have already seen it. But there's a character in that video called Soup Man. And Soup Man is completely modeled after Archimbaldo's art. Now, let's move on to our next worksheet. Because we're going to learn to sing spring. Yep, that's right. We are going to sing spring. Now, we're going to start with the hardest line first. So we're actually going to go to the very end of the song where it says it's time for Baroque style of music. I need to explain that word Baroque. 
Baroque means that it's extremely fancy. It's overly done. People who dress in a Baroque way would be, if you came to school, dressed like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. In fact, Baroque architecture is that whole big castle from that movie. It's just extremely decorative. So listen to the end. I'm gonna break it up into chunks. It's time for, can you do that? It's time for, okay. We're gonna do that one more time, echo me. It's time for, your turn. It's time for, next, Baroque. That's all you're gonna sing. Baroque, one more time. Baroque, good. Let's put that together, I'll go first. It's time for Baroque, your turn. It's time for Baroque. And then the last three words. Style of music, your turn. Style of music. Listen to it one more time, it's a little tricky. I'm starting at style. Style of music, you try it. Style of music. We're gonna put that whole thing together now. Listen to the phrase first, and then you get to do it. It's time for Baroque style of music. Here we go. It's time for Baroque style of music. One more time, and then that way you can sing the end of the song so easily. Ready, sing. It's time for Baroque style of music. Great. Okay, now before we get started with singing more of it, take your marker or your pencil and please circle the treble clef at the beginning of the music. Okay, good. The next step is we need to draw a box around the meter signature. The two numbers at the beginning of the music that look like this. All right, we're gonna use those a little bit later on. Now you can put your pencils down and you can get your voices ready because here we go. Sing after me, please. The four seasons are here. Your turn, ready, go. The four seasons are here. Good job, one more time for that. I'll go first. The four seasons are here. Your turn. The four seasons are here. Great job. Next one, same melody, different words. Vivaldi's sound is clear. Vivaldi's sound is clear. One more time, you do it, ready? Vivaldi's sound is clear. Let's put it together. I'm gonna go first. The four seasons are here. Vivaldi's sound is clear. Very good. Excuse me for one moment. <coughs> okay, next. The spring is the first you hear. The spring is the first you hear. One more time for the spring. The spring is the first you hear. Now let's put that together from the very beginning. Ready, with me, go. The four seasons are here. Vivaldi's sound is clear. The spring is the first you hear. Very good. Okay, next section. We're starting with the words, it's followed by each season. Listen first. It's followed by each season. You do it. It's followed by each season. Do it one more time. Ready? It's followed by each season. Again, same melody coming up. We're just changing the lyrics, the words. Listen. For which there is a season. Your turn for which there is a season. One more time for that. For which there is a reason. Very good. Okay, can you go back to the second staff, to the end of the first measure, that little box of music, it's followed by, ready? 
It's followed by each season, for which there is a reason. Okay, let's finish it. Ready? It's time for Baroque style of music. One more time for the ending. It's time for Baroque style of music. That was my dog Kalua barking. I don't think she's quite a fan of this music. Either that or she wants to be on camera. All right, from the beginning, let's do it all the way through. Ready, go, the four seasons are here. If all these sound is clear, the spring is the first you hear. It's followed by each season, for which there is a reason. It's time for Baroque style of music. That was great. Okay, boys and girls. I will see you next time for lesson number two. Keep your materials safe because you'll need them for the next phase of this. Have a fabulous, musical, magical day. Bye.